Welcome to its Rafiq. In today's video, we will discuss about some important questions which may come in computer science practical examination for HSLC 2023. As you know, your practical exam is going to start on 24, not start, uh, your practical exam is on 24th February, so very few days are left. You should start preparation for it and it contains 30 marks. So let's see what first what, what things are required for practical. HTML, you will require list, table, link, frames and uh, forms. You can see it but I don't think that you will get any question from from. And for C programming, you will need select statement means where you are using if else this part you need a nested loop array and function from mysql you should know how to create a table how to alter the settings of a table and how to retrieve the information from a table and mysql is uh, i'm not 100 percent sure that whether it will come or not because from last uh, three years they never asked uh, in center never asked to do mysql in hslc practical examination and viva it totally depend on the in charge or the teachers who is taking your practical examination he may ask you any type of question which is related to related to your computer book sometimes he may just ask you some personal questions and let you go like what is your name from which school you came so it's totally depend on your luck so don't think that you will get the easy questions so prepare some short short questions especially the concept like who develop html what things uh, which program is required to html code and uh, what is the ex extension of an html document and uh, from the first chapter so many questions are there you can prepare from there also so if you prepare a bit then it's okay and don't stand blank in front of the examiner otherwise they will give you very less mark in viva as there are 30 marks so you should get at least 25 to 30 marks to get a good mark in computer science if you are getting just 20 15 marks then it will difficult to score later marks in computer now let's see what uh, exam is on 24th time in your timetable it is given as afternoon from one i think but it totally depend on the center because while you are doing computer practical its students would need one individual computer one personal computer you cannot share your spelling is wrong it should be hlc uh, in your board examination or practical examination center cannot ask to share the computer so one student allotted one computer that's why the center takes time sometime our center might have 200 300 students so these 200 300 students have to do the practical work for that reason even you may get less time not even though in question paper it is written as two hours you might allotted only one hour time it totally depends on the center if the center have very less student then you might get just uh, you might get two hours but if there are many students then you might get just one hour time and uh, whatever code you are writing sometimes the center might ask you to write in copy also in they will provide you the booklet or answer script there you have to write the code and after that you have to go to the lab it totally depends on the center how they are taking some center even they give the answer script with that you will go to the practical lab and there you will write your code in computer even you will write in your answer script so it's depend on the center how they are taking and uh, so if you know want to want your timing at what time you should go to the center to give the exam you can go on 23rd on your main center there you will get notice board from there you can check your timings 
or even you can contact to your school your school might also have the information regarding this now what things you should carry while you are going to give the exam you have to carry your admit card registration card one black ball pen and you must go in your school uniform only these things are required don't uh, don't carry your bag and all because these things will be not allowed inside the school campus or center campus so just one black ball pen will do no need to carry hard board bag and all just admit card registration card and one black ball pen these three things enough for your practical examination now some important question from html which may come in your practical examination here i have given only the important question and i am not giving any assurity that only these questions will come in examination in exam there might some other question also come but that type of question will be related to this only first create a web page that serve as an invitation card to your birthday party and use all the tag along with css properties i hope i i already explained this code and even if you want again i can give it next create a web page to form a tabular representation of mobile name with their features create a web page to display roll number name marks of three students using table means you have to create a table and there you will write three students roll number name and marks create a html document on topic list and tables this is from frames means you will create a web page there you will have two frames and inside one frame you will display one list and in another frame you will display one table next one create a web page with an image of a tiger and link the web page with another page which contain some information about the tiger means first you will make it page on that page you will paste one tiger pictures and you will create a link when the user will create on the link or you make create the link with the image also when the user will click on there user have to move to another page and that page will contain the information about the tiger so this is from link or question might be uh, might be like that also create two web pages and link between them means you have to implementation of links between the pages so these are important questions from html now we'll move to the important questions from c first loop from loop you will can see this programs prime number summation of the digit of a number sum of 10 natural numbers print odd or even numbers in range this type of program you can see from chapter 4 and chapter 5 nested loop this type of pattern generally they will give you so if you know how to draw this pattern then it's no problem you can easily do it uh, second one is little tricky one so you can prepare for it and even the fifth one and remaining one three and four they are so easy you can easily do it and uh, from array this type of question may come like write a c program to declare an array with uh, capacity of five uh, seven or any size take input to the array and display the element of the array and next one a same program just here you will have two array on the first array you will take input and second array will copy the element of the first array to the second one and after that you will display the second one and uh, third one display a program to store your name and mother's name in two different strings display them one after another array means here we are going to use character array and uh, last one write a program to find the summation of all the even numbers stored in an array and here sometimes they may, might give you odd numbers program will be same just one thing will be changed here and sometimes even even placed or odd placed there also the same program just one line will be changed i'll explain this one how you will change this what particular line you have to change in next video and uh, from the function you might uh, you will just see this type of question they will not give you very hard question to do in board exam like uh, write a program to add two numbers write a program to define a function square that accept a number and display the square of the number as output and write a program to the uh, to find the largest number amongst a series of numbers means from an array we have to find the largest number or sometimes maybe ask to search the numbers so these are some important questions from c and html 
and from mysql users have to know how to create a table how to insert data to the table how to change the field name and all by using alter command after creation of the table and retrieve information from the table that much is enough for mysql and mysql i am not sure that whether it will come or not still you can prepare for exam if it come then it will be difficult for you thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye